Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use average function in Excel. Average is a statistical function that gives you the average or the mean from a given set of numbers. So let me show you how this works. I type average, I hit tab to autocomplete and you can see there are no fixed number of arguments. Average can take a lot of numbers. It can take up to 255 arguments and you need not enter each number individually. You can also select a range. So in this case, let me show you. I select A2 to A4. Instead of typing A2, comma A3, comma A4, I can select this entire range and I close the parenthesis and I hit Control Enter. And this gives me 12.333, which is the average of these three numbers, 10, 12, and 15. In case there is a number which is not in this range or is somewhere else in your worksheet, then you can use comma along with the range. So I type average. I select these three numbers and I also want 20 to be added so that I would calculate the average of these three numbers and 20. So I type that number manually here and I hit control enter and this gives me 14.25, which is the average of these three numbers 10, 12, 15 and 20. Now let me show you what happens if there is a blank cell in your range. So in this case I have uh, A5 which is blank and I've selected A2 to A5. Now when I hit control enter, this still gives me 12.33 which is same as that of this one where I had A2 to A4. The reason is that if here there is a blank or there is text in any of the cells, then average function ignores it. So blanks and text are ignored. But be very careful that only blanks and text are ignored. If you have a zero in any of these cells, then that would be counted and taken into account while calculating average. So here I have selected A2 to A6. And now when I hit control enter, it gives me 9.25 because here it is calculating the average of four numbers, 10, 12, 15, and zero. Since A5 is blank, this is not counted, but A6 is not blank, has a zero, and this is counted. So this is one of uh, common mistakes that, that people usually make while using average function. Be sure that there are no zeros, unintentional zeros, so that they are not calculated while using this function. So this is how average function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.